so looking forward, and just a brief trivia about Miss Universe Philippines the gig, to all of our pageant fans out there, we could all agree that over the years, all right, the gig has paved a solid way to usher its queens to the universe stage with flair and elegance. And its queens never failed to get noticed and receive multiple accolades. From 2020 up to the present, Miss Universe Philippines the gig has caused praise to the pageant world. Yes, Eric, it's time to go Miss Universe Philippines the gig queens who made their illustrious mark are the following. First, Miss Sandra Limona, who is part of the top 16 during the Miss Universe Philippines
Ms. Birma was called and Mr. Angel Konga. Ms. Universe Philippines to gain accredited for price.
kind of purpose to fulfill. And I know it might sound a little cheesy or cliche, but it's something told me that the universe was calling, that the stars were aligning, and I believe in everything in its right place and time. And there's something about it that tells me this is my place and time. Last question, how different are you this time right now? Well, obviously, I consider myself a lot more self-aware, a lot more self-assured. Um, I've definitely empowered myself as a woman throughout the years, a lot more confident in my own skin, and I can't wait to showcase that on the stage. Thank you so, so much. All right. All right, thank you so much. Well, any other questions? Hi, Christy. Um, what do you think is your edge over the other candidates, and do you think your experience in, in pageantry is your greatest <laughs> <laughs> um, as you mentioned, I think my edge is my experience, um, but although it, it is honestly the climate of the pageant industry has changed a lot, especially with the aspect of social media being a massive part and role in comparison to when I competed the first time. Uh, but aside from my experience, like I said, I just feel like I'm a very self-assured woman. I feel confident, I feel relaxed and calm in, in places of pressure and tension. Um, I do have a height advantage, that's also true, and I would love to see another Morena on the stage, so um, hopefully those things will put me at an advantage this time around. What is your advocacy? Well, something that's been very close to my heart, especially being a host of a travel show called Beached on Metro Channel. We mainly focus on sustainability and ecotourism, so it's something I feel really passionate about. It's not just in an environmental problem, but it is a humanitarian problem because it's something that affects the food that we eat, the water that we drink, the air that we breathe. So I definitely want to put that at the forefront of my advocacy, working with organizations like Planet Cora, which I have in the past. And I'm also planning to work very closely with my friend Kim Cruz's recent organization, nonprofit called Calma, which focuses on art for children to face and deal with childhood trauma. So. Right. So, uh, anyone from the crowd? Hi, Christine. Hello. Good afternoon. Once again, congratulations for uh, representing the Um Since your last competition, if I'm pretty keen, correct me if I'm wrong. How was your preparation going to the Miss Universe? In comparison to my last yes. one? Well, my last competition, well, Bini Bini Filipinas was definitely the hardest amongst all the other pageants I had done previously. Um, I, I'm so grateful to have, have had the guidance and help from my previous camp aces and queens, who I still consider a very close part of my life and my pageant journey. Uh, this time around, I've been in the industry for quite some time. I've created some amazing friends and bonds and relationships. So I'm slightly building my own little power team, but I'm still working very closely with individuals from ACES who I love very much and with some of the best in each of their respective fields. Um, I'm sure you guys will find out about them soon. Uh, so I'm just proud to also take harness of my own branding and letting everyone know who I am and who I want to be as a queen this time around. Follow up question. Correct me if I'm wrong, you're now an independent You can say that, yes. And last na lang, Christy, would it be okay if you could introduce yourself Hello, I am Christy Lynn Ladrino Hello, I'm Christy Lynn Ladrino McCary, proudly representing the city of Taguig. Yeah. The other one, you want to hello. Christy McCary, then I. Christy Lynn Ladrino McCary, proudly representing the city of Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have some other questions from our crowd. Yeah, so Ms. Diane. 
you know, a, a past winner or a previous winner, but I'm, I'm more grateful for her, her help and her support as a friend throughout this. Another question? All right. Hello, Christy. I'm Tristan from the Philippine Patches Tree. I was sort of met you in 2015 during the BPS. And during your crowning, you sort of steered the hornet's uh, nest, so to speak, when you were assigned or when you were crowned into Continental again after joining. And that's the first time I think I agree ever in any pageant history or any pageant stage that the same candidate, the same person competed on the same contest coming from different uh, organizations, but you won first runner up on your second try. So how, and when you were, when we uh, sent out teasers yesterday for your session today, a lot of people sort of had a clue that it was you, especially this morning when your friend Raymond outed you, <laughs> uh, when we posted about it. But now, they, you said it's a bloodbath. How are you going to kill your company? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know how you can kill them, so <laughs> Coming from a background of competitive sports, I can't deny that I, I'm very competitive by nature. But I wouldn't want to say I'm going to kill the competition, and if I do, I'll kill it with kindness. <laughs> um, um, but I'm honestly just exhilarated to be, as a pageant fan myself, to see all these queens coming back. Even, you know, Chris, who crowned me. Uh, these yes, are girls exactly. that I'm friends with. There, there's also newcomers. I just met Stacy the other day, and she's such an incredible woman too. I mean, I'm just excited to be part of such an iconic year. And uh, I also say nothing good comes easy. So I'm very appreciative of the challenge and the competition. And uh, win or lose, I'm going to do my best. That's for sure. So you're focusing now on the Miss Philippine stage, or you're more focused now on the Mexican stage? Because, because each, I guess, I've been telling all of my friends, because you're off the bridge, we could. you're going to cross, you're going to sashay your way there. Sashay away, I mean, I, I mean, I hope so, and I appreciate that, but um, I, I do want to say that I, we need to tackle each moment day by day. I want to live in the moment, I want to live very presently. I'm not going to count, count my eggs before they hatch, but there's no denying that I have my eyes set on the Miss Mexico, I mean, on the Mexican stage, for sure. And my last question, you're the other one, the most unanimous, former Miss Philippines ever, with the jumps that you have shown uh, during the Miss Intercontinental. And of course, when you when you post about your outfits on your social media, when you went to the Burning Man or uh, party in the States or something like that, yeah. are you going to bring that on the Miss Universe built-in stage, the modernity, the glam, etc.? One million percent. I definitely want to showcase uh, Philippine talent um, and fashion at the forefront of my, my journey. It's definitely going to be something that I want my friends, well, I work with very closely in the industry to be a part of because it takes a village. It's not just me that's going to win. I want to win this for the entire Philippines if I do. Um, but I definitely want to show myself as an individual. I do consider myself a creative. Um, I love art and the music industry, which I'm very close to as well. So you'll definitely see within my fashion choices you know, something modern, a lot of fresh things, pulling from some of the best designers in the nation, while still adhering to being a queen. So I want to keep it classy, and I want to make sure I please the fans and give them what they want. So all the fans, please uh, come along with me on my journey and let me know what you what you like. Thank you. All right, thank you. So another question from our uh, friends from the media. Anyone? Anybody? from slipping on stage, I, I suppose my biggest fear uh, would not be to be authentically showcase myself and the queen that I want to be. I hope throughout my journey that it's very transparent who I am. I want to be able to, you know, transpire the confidence that I've gained throughout the years and I want that to be able to project 
and inspire fans or the Philippines, you know, to, to, tr to trust me with the responsibility. So my biggest fear would be not being able to do that, but my hope is that I will. So. All right, a friend, so ready na yung mga cellphone nyo. Why should you be? Why should you be the next Miss Universe Philippines? I believe that I am and ready to be the next Miss Universe Philippines, not only because I'm a woman that has grown, that Sad, I mean, that showcases full reassurement, that uh, is very self-aware, but I honestly think that I have the passion, and I lead with pure intention, love, and gratitude that's able to inspire the rest of Filipinos to do the same and to uphold the Philippine flag on the international stage. Thank you. 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 The reason why you know, everyone is so excited about your forthcoming Miss Universe Philippines journey is because you, know, you, you seem to be taking the boxes of what uh, the next Miss Universe is, you know, is being going for. So we all know that you are an Amkadora. Oh. Right. Oh. 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 But there's a question here from one of my followers, um, Husun. He says, he asks, what are the non-physical attributes that you have, you think that you have, that can win the hearts of Miss Universe Philippines and the Miss Universe fashion times? Um, aside from, I guess, my physical attributes, I hope, hopefully during the interviews today, you'll able to see that um, I'm empathetic, I'm sincere, I'm confident, um, I'm self-assured, and I want to leave my best with, again, kindness, intention, and fully with love and gratitude, and I only want the best for Filipino people and to inspire them. So hopefully with that, they can see that I'm also intelligent, I'm a great communicator, and I want to be able to communicate messages not only for myself, but for the Filipino people across the world. So I hope those are traits that, aside from the physicality, that people can appreciate. Celeste for Bessie, I didn't know that Celeste is your close friend, and she's here, so I want to ask, what advice did she give you now that you're competing What's your advice for me, David?
so much, guys. And that ends our Q&A uh, session or segment. I'm sure that this is just a prelude, all right, for what is in store for us all to witness with Chrissy's performance in the Miss Universe Philippines 2024 happening very soon. And as you reach the middle end of our program this afternoon, Chris, maybe call back once more, our Miss Universe Philippines again 2024. Miss Crystalline McGarry will share her sweet message for all of us. Once again, I did want to thank all the media and press for taking the opportunity to come out here this afternoon and, you know, to again, watch the embarkation of my journey. Um, our host this evening, the lovely live music that we have, Carlo, my photographer, videographer, uh, my friends that came out to support, Rajo for the good, beautiful garment that I'm wearing, Pia for my shoes, actually, <laughs> um, Jim Ryan Ross for my makeup, Jack Aguilar for my hair, and most importantly, I wanted to thank Angel and Burma and our credit partners in the city of the day for the amount of trust that they put on me and instilled in me for this competition. And I really hope to represent the city of the gate to my absolute fullest and aptitude. And of course, the ball for hosting this, this afternoon. Hope you guys enjoy the food. And I hope you guys are going to be with me every step of the way of this journey. And um, I'm excited to have you guys on board. Yeah. Yeah.